Hands down, greatest global in hip hop. Oh man, Let thank you for my. And anybody that wanted to skew me on this, this is what I want you to do. Listen to the original version of Turn It Up from this man. Listen to the original version of the Al Green sound. Wow, thank you, Almighty. I did this three times. Count it. This dude switched his flow seven times for one song. Oh, wow. Thank you. with that. Nobody's doing that. Let's go. What is up, YouTube world? It's Jay Carfee on the vid. Back with the news, some hip-hop news, some other news, and all that. And leading off things you heard that, man, that was two living legends, Big Daddy Kane and Busta Bus. Uh, Big Daddy Kane giving Busta Rhymes his flowers while he could spell them. And that's what it's all about, right? You know what I mean? Giving someone their, their props, their flowers letting them know how dope they are while they're here not like oh they passed away Let, let's praise them i mean obviously when someone's passes away they need to be honored and all that but like they always say on drink chance right give them their flowers while they can smell them their trees while they can inhale them and that's what it is man and what did y'all think about that statement there uh turn it up i mean listen bus of bus has done amazing things lyrically vocally the ish that he can do switching up the flow rapping fast doing all kinds of crazy ish man like real talk um jump in the comments guys he he was referring to turn it up but um comment with some buster rhyme songs that you know i mean there's so many of them out there where buster rhymes just freaked it man you know uh, one that's popping into my head off the rib i've talked about when disaster strikes on this channel a lot like when I was really, really um, falling in love with hip hop. I mean, I was already a fan and all that came up on it from day one as a youngin. But when I was really, really getting into it heavy, um, one of my most favorite albums of all time that I went and copped that media play, I think with a gift card from Christmas time or something. Uh, when Disaster Strikes, there's a track called Rhymes Galore. And what bus like, what Busta Bust does on that one like literally is called rhymes galore and, and that's exactly what he's doing he's just ripping it I can't even really put in words and express to you um the amazing techniques and flow patterns and whatnot that he displays on that track but that's just one of them like I said we could we could talk about the the tracks the amazing uh, ish that bus is spit on tracks for hours like real talk maybe we'll do a video on that one day if y'all are interested but uh hit the comments let me know what y'all thought about what big daddy kane said there and like i said some buster rhymes songs that are very memorable to you where he just displayed some real next level lyricism hit the comments and I think I brought this up on the channel before as well. Big Daddy Kane's got a movie out there that's pretty dope with Keanu Reeves called Exposed. Uh, he plays like a gangster in it. I feel like not a lot of people know about this movie. I don't want to call it a low budget movie, but it's not exactly, you know, I don't know. It ain't trash. You feel me? I like the movie, but it, just not a lot of people know about it. Comment. Let me know if you've seen it. If you haven't, I recommend you go check that jump off out. And that's what it is, y'all. Um, moving along, we got to jump into the next thing here. You know, we've been talking about Freddie Gibbs, Benny the Butcher, their beef's been brewing. It's kind of, I guess, I don't want to say came out of nowhere, but I don't know. It, it just crept up on us. Like, you know, we started seeing uh, the Twitter fingers getting active. And next thing you know, tensions are mounting. Uh, you know, Benny the uh, Gibbs didn't like what Benny said in, in that interview regarding how working with Gibbs kind of came and went and um real talk he says some foul ish some disrespectful ish you know what I'm saying we know a lot of times with the rap beefs um some artists kind of do that like in this situation Gibbs is saying that Benny's beefing with him for album promo but in my personal feelings I feel like Gibbs does this all the time with people like he, he trolls um not specifically for promo because i don't believe he's got any new music dropping at the moment right or maybe he does i don't know but just in general he seems to do this to keep a buzz around his name that's my take that's my opinion y'all can let me know what you guys think but peep it too um 
a, a Buffalo legend, as we know, Benny the Butcher, Griselda, Black, Black Soprano family hails from Buffalo, New York, and a Buffalo legend um, in the hip hop world. Uh, DJ Bandana Black put up a post here that I want to share with y'all. I don't want to say calling out or checking another blogger. I mean, I, I don't know if, if y'all can take it that way. Like, I, I'm basically just saying I'm not trying to stir the pot up here. You feel me? We're just, you know, debating and discussing on different topics. But blogger Jordan Tower put up a video about this. And uh, it seems uh, Bandana Black wasn't exactly feeling some of the things that he said. I'm going to share a link to Jordan Tower's video. If you haven't seen it yet, y'all can go check it out. He wasn't like dissing uh, Benny, but it seemed like he kind of like not that this is about choosing sides or anything, but it seemed like he kind of was rocking with um, Gibbs more or less like agreeing with Gibbs. More or less like the people with Bandana Black said peepity take Freddie Gibbs. And I guess someone said that that wasn't the right freddie gibbs account but he meant to take gibbs and he said be easy beloved just focus on getting that music to people um i and jordan tower what's y'all problem um always with anything buffalo beloved you was sounding like you wanted to say a little more in that jay hood interview it's okay to say nothing sometimes champ i'm just saying hashtag i am buffalo you know dj bandana black Mr. I am Buffalo, like I said, a living legend in the in the Buffalo hip hop world. You know what I'm saying? He was spinning Griselda music on the radio when no one would. You know, um, <clears throat> I, I, I chopped it with him one time. He actually gets kind of people have asked him about that a billion times. So I, I, I guess I could say he kind of seems to get sick of it sometimes. But uh, Nard, I remember Nardwire did a West Side Gunna interview when Bandana Black's name came up. And I, I remember DJ Bandana Black put out a video like, there, everyone, go check out the Nardwire jump off. Like, so y'all can stop asking me about it. You know, he was a big part of giving them airplay uh, when I don't think anyone else was. And aside from that, you know, he puts out content, just a very cool, humble individual. Shout out to him. And you heard him mention uh, Jay Hood on there as well he's got a, a youtube channel which i was unaware of i just checked out one of his videos earlier tap in and let me know if y'all fucking with jay hood you know formerly a d blocks channel as jordan tower did an interview with him there but um based on what bandana black was saying there it felt like you know he, he was saying that I, I feel like he said it that's his second time actually he did there's two posts my bad john another one he said uh it's somebody tell freddie gibbs and jordan tower stop playing buffalo uh and freddie frederick gibson or whatever your name is beloved we accepted your music it was cool people fluck with your music here but yeah be easy champ and jt this is the second time and then the ear emoji like i'm listening i'm paying attention uh, shout out Jay Hood, though. So, um, you know, it seems it, it, at another point in time, Jordan Tower said something regarding a Buffalo artist or Buffalo or something. I, I know I heard some videos, you know, where he was talking about like the downfall of Griselda or something like that. But, um, you know, DJ Bandana Black literally is Mr. I am Buffalo. And it seems he's taken issue a bit with what Jordan Tower said. Um, you know, uh, regarding Buffalo, like I said, I ain't stirring the pot. I just want to know what y'all think about it. Once again, that's what we do. We debate and discuss over here. But um, once again, Jordan Towers video it, uh, link is pinned below if y'all ain't checked it out. But basically, um, he said, I'm trying to think what he said. <clears throat> My bad, y'all. Oh, he said, uh, you know, if you go to Walmart dripped out and change, you might get robbed. So it kind of was like. You know, he, he wasn't dissing Benny. Once again, I ain't trying to create a situation like that. But he was just like, yo, you might get robbed, like kind of, you know, questioning Benny's decision making. And then, you know, uh, where Gibbs said, um, like you used to open for me. Um, why didn't you get that Drake verse cleared? Jordan Tower was kind of like saying, yo, he might still open for Freddie Gibbs now. And I'm like. I don't know about that. I definitely take issue with that. You know, he brought up uh, their their record sales. And listen, um, Benny the Butcher, dope artist. I believe he has leveled up and is continuing to level up right now as we speak. 
And um, I don't know, comment guys, do you think that he would still open for Freddie Gibbs? Like, I don't know. I mean, and, and when it comes to the numbers, uh, Tana Talk 4 just debuted at number 15 on the charts. It would, you know, it put up like 19,900. Uh, uh, you know how they do sales and streams. They factor them together. And uh, like all together, like just actual sales, I feel like it was around 7,000 or something like that. And Alfredo, I believe, is Gibbs' most successful album is strictly as far as we're talking about charts. And his actually, that album actually debuted at 15 and did... 30k so like 10,000 more but um I don't know man like I, it ain't all about sales we know this that's not what all what makes an MC but I don't know I just I, I don't feel like um I just don't feel like Benny the Butcher would still be opening for Gibbs I mean I don't know y'all comment let me know what you guys think let me know if you peeped Jordan Towers video let me know what you guys think about, you know, what DJ Bandana Black said, the, the situation between Gibbs and Benny the Butcher. Uh, once again, Gibbs was talking about some music's going to be dropping real soon. He's got some bars for him. I don't know. I think Benny's going to eat him up on the mic. And once again, just, you know, he's had bad momentum lately. Like Bandana Black said, like, yo, your music's tight. But come on. I mean, the Jim Jones situation put a major tarnish on Gibbs's image you know and just i don't know man he be trolling but tap in let's talk about it again we're just blogging here coffee ain't brewing up no beef or nothing like that you heard all right yo and last up on the news rundown in this video this ish is crazy this ish is scary we already know about that fenty wop and all the bodies it's dropped across the country all over the world really honestly all the ODs, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of, whether people knew they were doing the Fenty Wop or they got something that had it in it that wasn't supposed to or whatever the case may be, we know it's lethal. It's potent, it's dangerous. Real talk, it scares the fuck out of me. Um, there's some new substance in Florida. I guess this ish has been around for a few years, but you know, uh, more recently, it's been popping up in Florida and there's been some ODs and they're saying this is even more potent than the Fenty Wap. And the Florida Attorney General came out, made a statement about this, gave a warning. I guess they're talking some about spring break. They're saying that it's 20 to 100 times stronger than Fenty Wap, which is crazy, y'all. Because remember, they had the Fenty, then they had the Cara Fenty that they was talking about is used as an elephant tranquilizer. Like real talk, we'll put an elephant to sleep for a operation people was ingesting that and dying well now this other ish i don't know exactly how you pronounce it, it i believe it's isotonitazine i-s-o-t-o-n-i-t-a-z-e-n-e -E. uh it's being referred to you know shorthand as iso iso and like i said 20 to 100 times stronger than the fancy wop is what's being reported uh, they're talking about secondhand ods where like if someone's ingested it and you touch their skin you can od uh you can accidentally inhale it being around it like this this is just crazy man as i always say on this channel you know coffee i i'm not judging i don't judge you feel me um when it comes to addiction or whatever anything like that what i'm saying though is um if you are out there flucking around you know or you know someone who is this is like should motivate people more than ever to try to clean to clean up you know what i'm saying get sober get clean because it's not like the old days you know where people could experiment with different drugs if that's what they wanted to do with their life you know what i mean like i always say uh this is just toxic out here right now you, you know someone could try something um in, in, for the first time and take that dirt nap and never wake up and now there's just a whole nother substance out here uh, you know first i'm hearing of this iso ish comment and let me know if y'all have heard of it before again it's been around i guess for a while but now it's popping up in the street florida attorney general is warning the people like scary ish guys it's like his second hand touch brushing up against someone's skin when they ingested it and you could you could die 
what the fuck, man? I don't like this ish at all, man. Like, you guys remember that video that came out a little while back where that cop somehow got some Fenty up in his system and hit himself with the Narcan? And then, you know, the Narcan woke his ass up. And then when that wore off, he was still fucking OD. And I, I comment someone and let me know if that cop made it. I believe someone told me they, they, they thought the cop didn't make it and died. I don't know. But here, here it is, y'all. A whole nother toxic devilish uh substance out here that uh has them on alert out there in florida guys so beware everyone comment with your thoughts on all that as well as these other couple topics um new viewers sub to the channel hit that notification bell as always y'all this is jay coffee talk we talk music news sports current events life and much much more lots more content coming stay tuned but more importantly join the discussion in the comments I'm about here, y'all. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.